Hi everyone, this is Shade the 5914 here, and today I have a special guest. I have K Monster 99 also as Martin. How are you doing, Martin? Oh, I'm doing awesome. How about you, Joe? I'm doing pretty <laughs> good. So tell me, how did you got Pokemon Go? Ooh, how I got into Pokemon Go? Well, Joe, I've been a fan of Pokemon itself, the whole franchise, since I was about 10 years old, and I actually didn't get into Pokemon Go right when it launched. Um, my friend group, they told me, like, you gotta play this game, you gotta, you'll love it, you gotta, you'll get into it. It's nothing like any other Pokemon game that has been made before, and I tried it out. That was about July 2016, and since then I've been playing almost every day, and I've been hooked. Yeah, I remember when, when the game first came out, you had to be at level 5 to be in those gems. Like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. and that's when and, you picked your team too. Yeah, and those the, levels, when it ago. first came out, it's hard to level up when it first came out. Mm -hmm. There's, oh, yeah. There was no raids. Mm -hmm. No friendship. No friendship. Yeah, no friendship. Mm -hmm. that, that's a huge one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and all you need to do just level up basically is just all opening gifts. You can't open gifts to like, like late last year I think it was, or early this mm -hmm. year. Yeah, twenty sometime 2018. Yeah, basically the only XP you can get is it's basically just hatching. Hatching, and catching, catching, evolving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But The real grind. <laughs> the real grind. And that actually was quite challenging, which I actually like. Mm -hmm. It was challenging. It was, yeah. And so, yeah, I remember when I first saw my neighbors stop playing it and they said, hey, you should try this out. I said, oh, I'll give it a shot. And like, since day one, I didn't saw like right away, but I saw maybe like a week when it first came out, mm -hmm. and I play and like, I just like occasionally play for a little bit here and there, mm -hmm. but when Drag Teen Community Day, I stopped playing it again, like. Oh yeah, great drag time to get back into the game. Oh yeah, even though I didn't, pro didn't did Pikachu that near the surf move, mm -hmm. which is okay, I'm not mad, but hey, I'll rage, Drag oh, Teen. Yeah. No, yeah, I Drag mean. Meter, right? Yeah, it got uh, yeah Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor. No, but yeah, I mean, with, Outrage is actually a, a pretty good move for Dragonite. If they didn't get a chance to well, like Draco Meteor, I, I, second best probably, I think. Yeah, Outrage is better than Draco Meteor, but but Community Day was a great time to get back into the game because that's when a lot of people started getting back into it, and yeah. the game's really grown since then. It's the the community's gotten a lot stronger since then with raids, with friendship. Yeah, I agree. You got a lot more groups forming, a lot more You've made people new friends. forming up. Mm -hmm. You need to now, and it's and it's yeah. good that you're meeting new people because of that. Yeah, and like if you see like all oh, like a level five stuff, are you like let's say you want like level twenty five? Yeah. <laughs> And like measure them, even like in like a Discord or in a group, mm -hmm. measure them. Yeah, it, it helps oh, yeah. out a lot. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you remember the very first time that you solo a raid? Oh geez. Uh, I think it was the second day that raids came out. I was level 28, and I did a muck raid. It took me a couple tries, but but I did it, and I. Uh, it, just the feeling of soloing it and getting, being able to catch a rare Pokemon, getting rare candies, mm -hmm. dust, Stardust, the one of the most valuable yeah. resources in the game. It was, it was great. I love soloing yeah. raids. I remember my first solo raid. I was like level twenty five, mm -hmm. around there, and I was doing a Magma raid. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that I got it within twenty seconds left. Nice. And my last Pokemon War that was in my battle was Charizard. Ooh, okay. Which is, I mean, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, when you first choose a Pokemon, which star you choose? Which one you choose? Oh, did in you Pokemon choose, Go? Po Ooh. Did you do Bulbasaur, Squirtle, or Charmander? <sighs> that, oh, jeez. I know I didn't choose Bulbasaur. I think... Well, for my second account, I chose Squirtle, but for my main account, I think I chose Charmander, and sadly, I ended up transferring it about a couple months after because I needed the candies. <laughs> so it went, yeah, it's it's long gone, but I, I think it was Charmander, though. No worries, no worries. Yeah, um, 
So you mentioned earlier about the community. So you say that community, the community in Pokemon Go increased over the years. After they release more generations, more new Pokemon, new five star raids. Oh yeah, before before they re released Gen two, a lot of the a lot of the people were starting to quit, and then they brought out Gen two, they brought out raids, and they brought out Gen three, all within the span of about ten months or so, and that really draw in new people and drew in the the people who may have left or who have lost a little bit of interest and they've been adding a lot more new things a lot more it's it, it, it's gotten a lot a lot better there's a lot more things you can do if you want to do rocket stops if you want to do raids if you want to do pvp if you just want to go out there and grind you know there's yeah. there, there's something for everyone to there do is, and depending is. on what you like and dislike you know there's not one way to play the game yeah it's so I know you mentioned this earlier, but so you say your favorite generation is Gen 3, correct? Gen 3 is my favorite generation. It has my favorite Pokemon, Milotic. So why why is Milotic your favorite Pokemon? Milotic's my favorite Pokemon. It's it just looks awesome. It's a water serpent. It's very good in battle. I I always love using it in um, Pokemon Emerald, which was Prob which was probably the game that I ended up playing the most on my Game Boy Advance. And it's Milotic was just so hard to get in that game. It took me hours upon hours to find it and then boost up its stats so I could evolve it. Um, and when I finally evolved it and could finally use it and just destroy trainers with it, it was, it was a really good feeling. And plus, it looks awesome. The shiny form looks awesome. It's, it's just good all around. There's nothing yeah. I really dislike about it. Just, yeah. <laughs> so, is Milotic your favorite water type Pokemon? It is. What were your favorite legendary Pokemon? Ooh. Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, I mean, there's there's not really a legendary I dislike, but, um... I really like Moltres. Moltres is pretty cool. Um, well, the the legendary birds, all three of them, actually, the, Yeah. I, they're all good designs. I mean, they're... They're the basis for what the for what the teams are. I mean, they're they're the logos. Got a rep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so you find Giovanni, correct? I have fought Giovanni, and I've got my shiny. I haven't. I, so, I've gotten my shiny Articuno. He is he's a he's a zero star, so he's not that great. <laughs> so you got an Articuno from it, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. A zero star. Yeah. What's your shiny? No, it cannot be shiny. It cannot be, oh, that's right. Yeah, it, it cannot can't be shiny. Be, no, not yet. That'd, That'd be, be cool if they bring out like more shadow shiny, uh, legendary birds. Mm -hmm. Like get bring those three out. Oh yeah. And yeah. So like, I say my probably first gen Pokemon started is probably Charmander. Oh, that's what you picked when you started. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, it's good times, but mm -hmm. very good times. Oh, yeah. Would you, like, tell the Pokemon world, like, what the new crest is for the research? Oh, the new Giovanni? The new Giovanni. Ooh, yeah. What's it called? I, I don't know what it's called, but it's basically it's basically the same one for Articuno, but at the end, um, you get you get Zapdos. So it's it's still like the the same quest, like spin a stop five days in a row, pure five fifteen shadow Pokemon, win five raids, stuff like that. So let me ask you. So let's say people didn't finish the first set of Giovanni. Do they still get Articuno or will it be Zapdos only? Uh, they'll get Zapdos if they finish it any time after December first. Yeah. So I mean, you know, it's if you if you wanted Zap, if you wanted Articuno, I mean, oh oh well, but you, you'll still get Zapdos, and Zapdos is pretty good. It's actually better than Articuno, like for raids and PvP. So if you got a better one, you would probably rather have a better Zapdos than an Articuno anyway. But who knows? Maybe you can make a deal with your friend and get that that Shadow Articuno. So that will that will wrap up today's video. So my name is Jada Five Nine Four. I'm Kim Muster 99 also known as Martin. And we see you guys in the next Adventure Trail.